everyone, and welcome to Rising Stories Podcast. I'm Kareen Sanderfer, your host, and this is Friday Favorites on Rising Stories. I am so thrilled to share all things good and wise with you this week. Normally, I have a guest on every other Thursday, Podcast Thursday. I have a guest, and we talk about all things business or how to write a book or how to be an influencer. So if you have a recommendation for a guest for me, please direct message me either on Instagram or Facebook and let me know how to get in touch with them. I would love to have them on the show. I am excited to share all things good and wise with you this week. I want to say something before we begin. I want to just let everyone know that my thoughts and prayers go out to the surviving families of 9-11, the heroes and the people who lost their lives in that tragic, tragic event. And it's been 17 years. It's such a long time, yet it feels like just yesterday I was sitting in my kitchen with my little kids and watching the news. So my concerns also go out to all that are in the path of Florence this week. So please be careful out there and don't take any chances. Be safe and, you know, traveling mercies for everyone. So on with the show for Friday Favorites. I hope that you're enjoying these times that we are hanging out together. If you know me, you know I love to cook. So today I'm going to share two of my favorite spices with you. First of all, the first spice is by Lowry Seasonings, and they have a pepper that is not just any ordinary pepper. It is a seasoned pepper, and it's called seasoned pepper, and it's more than pepper, let me just tell you. It's all kinds of flavor, and I especially love it on baked potatoes. But you can add it to whatever you'd like. Um, that you add pepper to. A lot of times I put it on soups or grilling meats, whatever you want. It just adds a lot more flavor to, um, to your dish, to your stews, or whatever, instead of just using regular freshly ground pepper, which I love that too. But this one is just a little bit better, and I love using it. So Lowry Seasonings, seasoned pepper. Is one of my favorites. The second one is by Goya Adobo Seasoning. And Goya is a a Mexican product, I believe. And I get the blue cap. So they have a blue cap and a red cap. And the difference between the blue and the red cap is that the blue cap is sin pimienta, which means without pepper. So you know, my first one was talking about pepper. Now I'm saying get the Goya seasoning without pepper. I just figured like if you want pepper, you can add pepper to any dish, but I don't want to season with pepper all the time. Sometimes I just like seasoning without pepper and then I can just decide how much pepper I want. And I add it to eggs a lot when I make scrambled eggs or any kind of eggs. I add it to that. I add it to chicken and soups again, but mostly eggs. It's the best if you're making like a good batch of scrambled eggs. It's awesome. And it, you know, people, or if you're making like breakfast burritos, which I like to make a lot, um, you can add like bacon or chorizo or um, any kind of meat with the um, eggs, scrambled eggs, and it just kind of comes to life with that extra seasoning. So that is one of my favorite seasonings. I'm also loving this YouTube video that talks about packing. Actually, I've watched several. When I was going to pack, um, I like to pack light, but I wasn't sure how the weather was going to be a few weeks ago when I went to San Francisco. Uh, and it's so funny because in San Francisco, no, you cannot tell what the temperature is by looking at the people and what they are wearing. It's the oddest thing. We, my friend and I were just laughing about this because we had, uh, we were sitting on the beach, you know, near the Golden Gate Bridge and there was a family and like one person had shorts on and no shirt. It was a guy and the other one had, um, like a 
jacket, a light jacket, and the third person had like a parka. So I wasn't sure what to pack for San Francisco, so I was watching these packing videos, and I watched a flight attendant pack her her suitcase, but I also watched her pack her cooler, and that was really cool. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is a genius idea of packing, you know, her cooler so she, whenever she would land in a city that wasn't her home base, um, you know, they stay in a hotel or an Airbnb, and she would have like a whole meal already packed in her cooler, which her cooler was small. It looked like a little kind of a carry-on suitcase. Um, not even a suitcase. It was more of a carry-on bag, but it was amazing what she was able to pack in there, and she was staying with her diet, true to her diet, and just uh, packing the things that she made a meal of, and as you know, I'm really particular about my meals out and packing what I'm taking, not wasting stuff, and I've only had one year of packing for the beach where I felt like I packed stuff and we ended up throwing away food or leaving it in the condo. Um, and I hate doing that. I want to be able to just like use up everything that we take. So um, again, I was watching those packing videos and, you know, she also had a video packing for clothes, which that was what I was into. Of course, I fell into that crazy rabbit hole of the cooler. But she used these cute packing cubes that zipped up. So you didn't have to use like a, a vacuum cleaner, you know, how you kind of suck the air out of it. It just compressed with like two zippers, kind of like what your suitcase does. So I loved watching that video and the cubes. I will try to link it in the show notes, but they are on my Amazon store. You can go to the Amazon store by going to amazon.com backslash um, shop and then slash again Kareen Sandifer. You'll find my store there and I have all these recommendations, everything from makeup to books to um, what I've used to prepare my office, home office, all that kind of stuff. A lot of neat things. So you ought to check it out. And you know I love to watch movies and I just recently watched Peppermint with Jennifer Garner. She was awesome in this and I'm also loving her Instagram. So if you want if you have an Instagram, you should be following Jennifer Garner. She was she's adorable and she's also so down to earth. She's a you know mom with kids and just go give her a follow. She was so funny on some of the things that she posted while she was making the film. It was really cute. And so I think you should go check it out. And last but not least, no link to this one because it is my cherry tomato plants. They are just spilling everywhere. I have cherry tomatoes like coming out of my ears. If you want to see my plants, I'm going to do a little Instagram story and give you a little tour of my garden and show you how much it's basically spilling over on both sides of my garden and into my deck all of the tomato plants. I love it, love it, love it because I love tomatoes. I wish I was saying this about my big tomatoes. My big tomatoes just did not take off but my cherry tomatoes just exploded. They just loved where they were, and I think they loved all of the rain that we had this summer in Nashville. So that's it, and I'm looking forward to the weekend, and I hope that you're looking forward to the weekend. I hope you have something fun planned. I will be sharing more Friday favorites, not next week. Next week, I'll have another guest, and the following week, I'll do another Friday favorite. So if you have something that you absolutely love, I would love to hear about it. Message me or you can find me on Instagram or you can email me at info at And don't forget about checking in on Sunday nights on Instagram at Kareen Sandifer for Sunday productivity tips. Thanks so much for listening to Rising Stories 
and have a wonderful weekend.